Klub miłośników zegarów i zegarków, którego mam przyjemność być prezesem, powstał po 7 lat temu i na początku było to takie luźne stowarzyszenie ludzi interesujących się tym, tą piękną dziedziną życia i, i sztuki, jaką, jaką jest zegar mistrzostwo i zegarki. Wilgen Watches, you know, it's a manufacturer in Switzerland and we are a small company, a niche company, but we are the only ones in the world that are producing alarm movement. Uh, it's uh, our own movement, homemade, and uh, we are definitively talking to uh, watch collectors or watch aficionados. We are not a marketing brand as such. It was created in 1947, and this watch, Vulcan, was the watch of the presidents in America, Truman, Eisenhower, uh, Johnson, and even Barack Obama got a watch a few, uh, two years ago. Produced in Italy, so it's a totally different uh, point of view altogether. It's much more about design, about the ex exterior of the watch, and uh, which is very limited. Eh? We, we manufacture only about 3,000 watches per year. Maybe our, fam our most famous uh, fan is um, is Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise, he bought uh, San Marco. It's a particular model, model of our collection that we developed for Italian Marine Corps. Silvio Berlusconi, he, has, he actually has one. Um, we made one particular model, uh, but that's about, uh, I think, about 10 years ago. It's a Tradivarius. It's, it's a model which we only made 10 pieces, and, and it was given to the, to the political uh, leaders at, at the G8 uh, top, uh, I think, in 2001. And he was one of them, so he, 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 is, uh, he has an anonymo, but uh, I've, I've never seen him wearing it, so I don't know. It's, uh... The company uh, was founded in 1875, and it's the only company which is still owned by uh, the founding families. Audemars Piguet was the, is the only company in the world where from the beginning, 1875 up to today, we uh, produce every year at least one Grand Complication pocket watch. This watch was on the Guinness Book of World Records on the front cover in, 18, uh, in 1989 as the most expensive watch in the world without diamonds. If you have it in your pocket, you have a, a, a small house in Switzerland in your pocket. <laughs> Poland is really one of my key priority for the two, three coming years. So it's definitely somewhere where you will see more and more Tagoyer. Our core target uh, is between 1,000 euro to 3,000 euro. Uh, but after it can go much more higher, depending on the watches we are talking about. The highest probably today is 100,000 uh, Swiss francs, so I would say 70,000 euro. Takie kluby jak nasz polski istnieją również w świecie i one są doceniane również przez producentów, przez, przez przemysł zegarmistrzowski, bo to są ludzie, którzy jak, jakby nie są najbardziej zainteresowani tym, co jest jakby sensem produkcji, czyli zegarkami. I tutaj dzięki temu, że, że nasz klub już, już też stał się poważnym partnerem dla przemysłu, przynoszą nam i przy, przywożą, prezentują świetne rozwiązania i takie rzeczy, których nigdzie indziej nie można tak naprawdę za wyjątkiem targów w Bazylei i w Genewie oglądać.